I'm a retired secondary science teacher. I hold a Master of Science degree in biology and a science composite teaching certificate in the state of Texas for all sciences grades 6 through 12, and 25 years teaching experience teaching biology, chemistry, physical science, life science, and earth science, including 15 years in Texas public schools. Most importantly, I am the grandmother of three Texas public school children. I am in favor of the science textbooks as originally written and oppose the addition of revisions by the review team. The 2013 review process has been seriously flawed, both in terms of the qualifications of some of the reviewers and the transparency of the review process itself. The 2013 biology textbook reviewers include, according to a Freedom of Information Act statement, a dietitian, a systems analyst, and a retired businessman specializing in finance. This reminds me of one of those, you wouldn't want a doctor doing your job commercials on TV in which the doctor does a very poor job of playing the violin to the dismay of the trained concert violinist. While these reviewers may be highly qualified in their own fields, like the doctor in the commercial, they lack the background in biology and do not have the education to evaluate whether a biology textbook addresses the teaks and is free of error. Texas has top rated universities like Rice, University of Texas, Texas A&M and SMU. Why were highly qualified science experts in biology from our best universities and experienced biology teachers not asked to be textbook reviewers? In order to prepare our children for college level courses and the jobs of the 21st century, Texas science textbooks must contain scientifically accurate explanations of evolution and climate change. I am troubled by the fact that publishers may alter scientific information about evolution and climate change based on criticism from some of these unqualified reviewers. So far, the public has not been able to see the changes the publishers are proposing to make to meet these objections from these reviewers. I urge you to make future textbooks more transparent, reviews more transparent, and to ensure that those reviewing our science textbook are highly qualified in the relevant subject area. I urge you to approve the textbooks uh, as originally written, and I oppose the addition of revisions by the review team. Thank okay. you. Uh, Mr. Rowley. Yes, uh, Ms. Clark, thank you for coming, by the way. I appreciate your testimony. I, I do have a question, though, and this has um, kind of been a theme that I've been hearing throughout the day, and, and that is, um, on the one hand, the public wants to be involved in, the, in this review process and are asking us to have a greater level of transparency. What that says to me is, it's important to involve the public in what we're doing here. I agree. Yeah, but then on the other hand, what I hear that uh, asserted is that only experts should be allowed to serve on these review panels. And so my question is, at what point do we draw the line and exclude, quote, dietitians, um, plumbers, carpenters, <laughs> whoever? Well, I would submit uh, that. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm not I'm finished sorry. yet. Yeah. Please finish. Um, at, at what point then do we say um, the public uh, doesn't have a right to be a part of these review panels unless you have a particular level of scientific qualification, uh, yet we recognize that, that it should be a public process? I think we're asking to be able to see the comments the reviewers made. Right. And, and to know who is doing the reviewing and oh, to know okay. that they are highly qualified. Oh, okay. I, well, I misunderstood. Well, I, I heard two things in your answer there because one, on the one hand, you said you want to, to have the... More uh, experts in the field of biology to review biology textbooks. Oh, okay. But but so then do we exclude dietitians, system analysts, and retired businessmen specializing in finance? I'm using I don't words think here. they have any expertise to evaluate a high school biology textbook. Do, no. you, do you agree they have a vested interest in what's in those textbooks? Well, yes, and they could come make public comment, just as many people have done today. But we exclude them from the original part of that well, process. Well, I don't think they, they would be able to review the textbook to see that it meets the teaks. If, if I think experienced teachers have spent their life teaching the subject and uh, university you know, level scientists who are involved in this field and spent their lives in the subject would be able to much to look and evaluate. Here's the teaks, you know, do these meet those? Certainly, and, and we wouldn't want to exclude those folks, your qualified experts, uh, mm -hmm. certainly, but, um, but if, if our goal was to allow a, a, a cross-section of the public community to be a part of this review process initially, not just to be able to make the comments now, but to actually look at the textbooks and be a part of that review process, 
wouldn't we encourage dietitians, systems analysts, and retired businessmen specializing in finance? Again, I'm using your language. Wouldn't we encourage them to be a part of that process? I wouldn't attempt to evaluate dietary requirements or attempt to, my husband is a systems analyst actually, and I wouldn't begin to know what he does in his job, and I wouldn't be qualified to evaluate anything about that. And he wouldn't be qualified to evaluate a biology textbook. He, I think, only took one course in biology. I have a master of science degree in biology, and I've spent my life in it. Okay. I, I, I think That's, I understand your position, okay. just, uh, but, but I think we might have an inherent disagreement about the role of the public in this process, and, and I would assert that if we're going to include the public, then we do in, at every level, including as reviewers. That's just a difference you and I have. Okay. I think we have to and agree again, to disagree. Thank you for coming. Thank yeah, you. thank you. I want to clarify one thing. I'm, I have the list of the, uh, since we've been talking about the biology panel, um, the, the, let's see, dietitian actually has a degree in food science technology, and they have to take all kinds of science yeah. courses, I know, at, at colleges. And then the uh, person you're referring to is the retired businessman specializing in finance was the gentleman with the doctorate from uh, Princeton in chemical engineering. So he's certainly qualified. I'm looking at this list, and I'd be happy to show it to anybody that wants to look. Um, our biology panels, and there were three panels because we did have a lot of interest, and I wanted to know where were the, the teachers when we put out the call all over the state. I, I know they were busy teaching, but yes. a lot of the review yes, was done and that's this where summer. they are today also. So please, please, in the future, you know, get the word out to your contacts because we, we needed more help, actually. But I'm looking at the degrees for the biology panel. I mean, we have masters in zoology and doctorates in micro molecular and cell biology, um, engineering science, multiple disciplinary science, multidisciplinary science degrees, um, civil engineering, biology and English, microbiology, agronomy, agronomy. Uh, that was a doctorate, biochemistry and cell biology. I mean, I, but, I but could keep going. With respect, though, I, I think maybe you're just. I, with you know, respect, talking, I would just I saw like the, to say. Excuse me, ma'am. I saw the news the the news release where this was in there, and I beg to differ. I mean, this was not telling the whole picture of the qualifications of these reviewers. So, anyway, if I might make I one more comment, though, I, I, just with Ms. respect, Rattler, I don't think a civil engineer. Or those degrees are not related to biology. They may not take any systems analysis. I know that my husband took only a very basic uh, class that didn't even have a laboratory associated with it, with his degree. That does not qualify them to be reviewers of a high school biology okay. test. Which was uh, I think you have another question, Mr. Rattler. We, uh, we have a cross-section of people that review each of these books, or we're supposed to try to achieve a cross-section of people that review these books, just like we do when we develop our teams. Do you think it's important that as we fill these these committees with a cross section of people, that those people recognize their own limitations of what he or she is qualified to opine on? Yes, I do. Consequently, do you also think that it's important that for we as state board members to take into consideration who is making those comments to us, whether it's from these panels or in public testimony, as we decide what to accept or reject in terms of requested changes when we get ready to vote? And we approve these. Yes, I agree with that. 